everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and today we are here to do another painting. Uh, I am using a new setup, so hopefully everything will go flawlessly. If not, well, you know, it happens sometimes. Um, today's painting is on a 12 by 12 canvas. Uh, there's a shadow on you, and I don't think there's anything I can do about it right now. I can try to counter the shadow with another light. Let me see what it looks like on you. We'll just try that for now. And um, when we do the close up, you won't see the shadow, obviously. Um, I can make that happen. But anyway, sorry, 12 by 12 canvas. <clears throat> Only using three colors today. Uh, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Red mixed with Floetron Water. Artist Loft Neon Yellow. Same ratio there. And then this navy blue color that I mixed using red and blue. It was a tint at a purple, but it didn't turn out purple. It turned out crazy cool blue, and so I ran with it. Um, today's painting will be a swipe. And so I'm just going to clean pour all this paint on here. Okay, that's a problem. <laughs> Big problem. Look at that nastiness. This is why it's important to sift your paint in your flow trawl before pouring them into your bottles. I think also just um, over time, like it can it can get goopy like that. But one way to prevent it from the beginning to some degree is to sift your paint. But I'm pretty sure all of these have been sifted. It's pretty rare that I don't sift anymore because I I don't like to dig out chunks. <laughs> it's not something I enjoy doing. So I'd much rather sift the paint than pour chunks out of it. Okay, we've got plenty of paint here. Let me um, manipulate it a little bit. Make sure everything still looks good on ya. <coughs> This looks really cool as it is, but I still think I'm going to swipe it. We'll find out once I tilt it. Paint bottles out of the way. I feel like there's a chunk somewhere. Here's one. Holy moly. Nasty. Okay. At least we're swiping it, so it's not like I can really mess it up beforehand. <laughs> I feel like the black is the one I tend to notice that clumps a lot, like even with sifting it. Um, I don't remember really noticing on that blue. And the red I have to stir a whole bunch because it like turns a little pink when mixed with the flow trawl. And so I, I end up um, like mixing and mixing and mixing just to try to get the colors out right. As I'm doing this, I'm still looking for clumps like that. <laughs> I think I already see one right here. Apparently I need to use my colors faster so that that doesn't happen. It would be my guess. Oh, and you might notice we have tweezers. <laughs> we haven't had tweezers for a little bit because they got resin and they were just kind of, it was time. And so yeah, I was chatting it up with my mom. I was like, I lost my tweezers to resin. Like I need to buy some tweezers in bulk because I will always need them. <laughs> and she was like, I've already done that and pulled out like 15 pairs of tweezers for me to choose from. It was awesome. So thank you, mom. Oh, come off. 
these are just strips. Sorry, I know I'm taking a lot of time doing this, but it's rather to do it now than later when it's beautiful or to not catch them at all and then have them dry in there. And once they dry in there, there's really nothing you can do about it. Well, I don't need to torch this because we're about to swipe it. Um, hopefully some yellow comes out. I'm a little nervous, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trust it here. Let me make sure I'm in frame for you guys. Looks like I am. It looks cool, but I'm still going to swipe it. And our swiping tool today will be a lay. So wish me luck because I don't know what I'm doing here. Yeah, we're just going to go for it and see what happens. Not bad. This side kind of got pushed down too much, which is not not good. We gotta fix that. It's awesome. I still have paint. Let me see if I can maybe get it to flow this way. I like what it did, but I'm not so sure about all this tilting I'm gonna have to do. I guess I'm gonna have to do it no matter what, so we'll just do it and then see what happens. Come on guys, get the areas I want. I really like it, there's just so many chunks in here. I'm just not sure at this point. Maybe, maybe. Hmm. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, what do you guys think? I wish you could tell me. Like, right now. Not in a couple days when you see this. Just go for it. See what happens. We'll definitely try this again. I don't know really what I'll do differently yet, but we're definitely gonna do it again sometime relatively soon. I don't know if I had too much paint, if I didn't have enough paint. I just don't know at this point. Because there's so many fun colors here and so many different like layers of color. Maybe I'll just seal it with that Dura Clear. Dura, yeah, Dura Clear. I think that's what it's called. The one that like did the crackly effect. And then maybe like all the craziness will come out underneath. Maybe that's a good idea. going to bring you in for the close-up. All right, here we are for the close-up. Like I said, I'm still not sure about this. We'll start in the top. Um, I'll think about it, but I think the Duraclear option might be a fun option for this one since there's so many colors. And it'll give that crackly mosaic look. We'll get to play with that and see if there's a a cool way. It kind of looks like fire. Yeah, let me know what you think. If I should leave it, if I should seal it with something else, if I should practice with the DuraClear. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you like it, if I should just pour over it after, after it dries. You tell me what you think I should do. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for watching, and do what makes you happy.